Howdy, hey, hi, Spaceman Josh here, and welcome back to Factorio. We are on episode 5, and we are going to keep on going. So when we left off, there was the conveyor belt uh, that I just extended to help with the boiler problem. Or, actually, lack thereof, it's just extending the boilers and adding more power. And so what I needed, I, the problem was I needed another inserter, and I didn't have it on me, or the materials to make one. So let's go fix that right now. Really still not- oh, I need copper. Again, let's go fix the problem. Use the conveyor belt as sort of a speed boost. And now we can make one. Go ahead and place it right there. And so now, if you notice from last time, it was around 9 or so, like 9 or 10-ish on food consumption. And so now they're each at around 3, and so what that does, uh, it essentially it balances out the power. Like, you know, they only create what they need to create, they only, you know, use what they need to use. And if you have more steam engines, more boilers, it, they use less individually because collectively they can produce more. Pretty soon the coal mine is going to fill up all the way out this way back to the a source and then yeah that's really all I have to say about that but what I want to do here is I want to start looking at doing this I'm glad I got automation even though I'm not going to be automatically making it having an assembly machine will greatly help I can place it right here. I actually want to have a another inserter. I can tell this to make science pack ones. And then I can have the conveyor belt transferred over once they're made. And so I can grab two stacks from here. I also want a chest. So and then I'll grab a stack from here. Take some wood. Make a chest. Only I only need a wooden one because of the, just how it's how I'm going to play this out. And now I can place the wooden chest. Let's look at power. Okay, so I want to place it here. Yeah, there. As well as make another one of these. Oh, I'm really glad I didn't use that. And so what that does is I place two stacks of of iron, one stack of copper. It, it takes... well then, I forgot about that part. I don't need two stacks of iron, I need a stack of iron gears. That changes things. I'll need a second assembly line. Let's make one right now. Place that right there, and so it's still gonna it's it's won't craft until I've made all the iron gears. So it's give me a little bit of a wait. <laughs> Let's just place what we have in there now, and what it'll do is it'll start uh, placing these ingredients in, making the science packs, and then the science packs will autom automatically be placed in here. And by having you know a hundred uh, iron gears and a hundred copper. It allows us to make a hundred science pack ones. Why is this so off balanced? Why is there five more copper? Now it's balanced. And so now we can take this thing that I made, place it there. Need an yet another inserter for this. Place that in there. What's it, and then we'll tell this one to make iron gears. We'll have yet a, another wooden chest with another inserter. And 
in this chest will be stacks of metal, and this will be stacks of copper. Once this gets used up, we'll be able to tell because the pictures will disappear from uh, here because I have it in alt mode. But essentially, I will have access to a hundred of those things. This research only takes 30, so I'll be able to do 30, 80, I can do 20 more. That's what I'm doing right now, I think, yeah. I think I'll do just 90 with uh, with optics, and then just to make sure I use the 100, I'll do stone walls as well. Though I won't ever actually use them. Since enemies won't be turned on for the sake of frame rate, there's no need for walls because no one will be trying to break past the walls. Shut up, phone. I don't need your notifications. Alright, so from here... That's pretty good automation in terms of that. Hmm. I'm trying to determine what I want to go from here now. There isn't really much you really can do until you start getting some of these uh, upgrades. One thing I do want to see if I have it right now yet. Yes, I do. Is radar. Radar is is also really nice to have. Essentially, what radar does is it will uh, use energy, sort of, to sort of. What's the term I'm looking for? Uh, sort of, it, it scans the area and reveals uh, uh, small blocks on your map. And what another uh, benefit of that also is it allows you to. So w because I'm in this area right now, there's a sort of. A lighter square than than the actual map itself. In the lighter squares, if you zoom in enough, you can actually see it. It actually has a really nice effect, like it's a camera or something. You can actually uh, see what's going on in that area. A radar does the same effect as the player. So if I walked away and went like way over here, I could still zoom in right here and see exactly what's going on. And it's real. It's a really nice thing to have, especially when you start having train systems where you have really long distances. Because like what something I want to do is I want to have a train station up here with the coal to be able to uh, take it to different places around the map, and I'll probably want one around the stone, or at least a better stone area once I find one. And I'm considering uh, trying to see about making a way for maybe not having the research right here, but eventually moving it and having a tr uh, the train system go in th uh, from over here down into here, into this main area, probably right next to the radar, because I'll have the conveyor belts from the copper and the iron plate go in here, and they can collect on two, on two different cargo things, and they can be taken across to different areas, whether to automation plants or different outposts that require the resources, things like that such. There's a lot of thinking ahead in terms of what you want to do, but then you can't really go very fast without being able to have some good research. And so that's half the battle with this game, is being able to create enough research for it. But for right now, this is actually a really good sort of automation deal. As long as you have, you know, you, as long as you have ores in the mines and coal in the, uh, in the coal mines, you will always have automation. And you can sort of see on the mini-map too, it's starting to see, seek out different areas. Hmm. I actually haven't looked at that oil thing yet. Where is that at? Right here. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Noth nothing really to sort of explain. I'm just sort of thinking. I have parts of ideas, parts of plans. And so I don't really try to want to try explaining anything until I have, you know, full plans. I think while we wait for the uh, 
research, I'll go ahead and grab some of these and continue expanding. Continue expanding the uh, conveyor belt right here to try to go around. Actually, I probably don't want to do that because of the oil right there. But nonetheless, I'm still making these, so I'll do something with them eventually. But it is time for this episode's Nerd Alert. Alright. So, I know that uh, in the last episode, I just mentioned how Venus is the hottest uh, planet in the solar system on the surface. I also mentioned it rains sulfuric acid. And so, sulfuric acid is, you know, pretty bad. We, most of us, most of you all will know what, you know, exactly really ha like how bad it is and whatnot. Um, even if you don't, you still know, you know, acid is generally bad for you. What's interesting, though, is on Jupiter, in, in uh, certain layers of the atmosphere in Jupiter, it actually rains diamonds. Uh, it's because of, uh, at least that's sort of what I've, uh, I, I don't remember where I learned it from. I remember seeing it in, in like, uh, some sort of documentary, but it wasn't something, like, I actually read. And so it may not be entirely, it may not be entirely true from what I heard. But, nonetheless, it's, it's something, it's in a documentary, it's still, it probably is reliable. Um, I can't really remember, that's half my issue with this. But, you know, like I said, it's, you know, in, in a certain area, the, um, it's the density of sort of, it's sort of like the pressure will create, uh, the pressure will turn the liquid sort of solid on its, on its way down from what it, something along those lines. I, I'm not entirely certain sort of how it all works, but I've heard that it actually, in, in the area, a portion of the atmosphere, it actually rains diamonds. But with that, that, this episode is out of the way, let's go ahead and get back into the episode. So we're waiting for these to start crafting, and now I want to figure out what I, what I want to do with them. Because I sort of just decided that I didn't want to go all the way around because the oil right there. What I can do, though, is just sort of, for the pleasing effect, I can take this and still, you know, loop it right here. Because, why not? And it allows for even more uh, coal to be mined. And so what I'll do is I'll go into the, in this area and start looping around here. And now this is full. <laughs> At least I did something with them, for right now. My biggest question is, since I have all these, do I want to take this coal thing somewhere else? Do I want to go for mining? And I don't really have any- ooh, stone! Ooh, that's a lot bigger. I'm gonna go over there. Or see if I can zoom out towards there, and at least get a look at that. Electronics is almost done. get a look at this thing. It's a decent size, about the same size as my copper or and iron ores. If I go over there a little bit more, open it up. Collectively, 1.3 million. You know, that's more than either the copper or the ore, so this is a decent uh, place to get stone. The, the uranium ore, it's only 107,000. What's this one over here? 29,000. There are definitely going to be areas of better locations for, uh, uranium ore. I've seen massive areas. But the stone, that's a good area for stone, so that'd probably be where I could get my stone from. Okay, from here I want to... End goal right now is railroads, engine, steel processing, and automation 2. Automation 2 I'll get. That gets 80, and so I'll need 10 more. I know I said to get all those other things, but after looking at it, if railroads my end goal, Automation 2 also allows me to be able to make the second type of, uh, of the uh, science pad, because in order to make an inserter, you, it, inserter requires, if you look, three ingredients. So you would need uh, something that can hold uh, up to four ingredients, which is the next automation assembly thing. The one I have currently can only hold up to two ingredients craft items that require up to two ingredients. And so having the second one will have four, and so I can make a, a transport belt and an inserter, to, and then those will collect, uh, will both end up making 
the Science Pack 2, which will be needed for getting higher upgrades, or sorry, research, such as the railroads. And I, I am I am focusing a lot on the railroads just because some of the recent games I've been playing when I got the railroads, as soon as I started getting, as soon as I started, in a way, mass producing steel, it's probably a good way to explain it, and being able to, you know, expand on the railroads, my, uh, my sort of, my game went from being around the size it is for here to almost tripling in size and being able to expand out to areas with much more, uh, higher richness of resource, of a certain resource. And so I sort of learned how learned the, you know, my lesson of how the railroads uh, greatly expand your ability to do the game. Now, if I want to make ten more than what I have right now, that means and for these I'll need ten more, which means I'll need uh, ten copper plate, ten iron gear, ten iron gear will require twenty iron plates, so I'll need twenty iron plates and ten copper. I'll take half that and then place three more here. There's the 20. I have 10 already. Why 58? But you get my point. Place 20 in there. And then, wait, one more. Yeah. Take 10 in there. Combine them like that. Okay, so that's going to be going smoothly, and I'll be able to finish automate automation too. So something I'm considering about doing, but I don't know if I want to go through with it, is uh, at least not right now, is putting in a second mine for the electric mine. Because part of that issue is that I don't. It'll probably end up producing too much because already it's 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 producing. Uh, you know, two for uh, it, it. You know, produces fairly well. But, and we're, we have a decent amount, but if I produce it too fast, I might end up having to waste some. That's not what I want to do. Copper, I'm perfectly fine with wasting. I use so little of it compared to uh, to iron that, and I've I've wasted complete complete uh, chestfuls of copper, no problem. Iron, I have a little bit more of a problem with. <laughs> All right. Um. How's the radar doing? I haven't checked on that in a while, so it's getting some stuff up here. I think we fully up uncovered the rest of the stone up here. That tiny bit of iron up there. It's awesome. 76 iron and 129 iron. That doesn't even show up on the map, that's that small. Then there's the coal right here. It's kind of funny. Yeah, so definitely, I, I might be, I might like make another radar, expand the uh, electricity d down to the stone since I know that's where I'll be going, and the, put a radar down there to help expand the map that way too. Same thing with the coal. Uh, I don't actually, I don't know what the coal. Maybe like expand a little bit more and then do the coal, but I don't know which direction I would want to expand in. If I have a train station going around near the coal and near in between the uh, iron and copper and at, by the stone probably too is probably what will end up happening then what will end up probably having to happen is then also it would have to if this is a line I'll probably want to expand upwards at least somewhere or downwards either upwards or downwards and I can already see mostly downwards there doesn't seem to be too much here available at least not immediately, but I don't know about upwards. Plus, there's water right here, and there's not water up here. If I wanted to like place a storage somewhere, I could just do that instead. And so, going upwards might be the way to go. But a raider by the like stone, and then call upwards. So, I have plenty of stone. I have plenty of copper right now, too. I'll grab just a stack of copper, and I'll start getting some trees so I can get the electricity.
Okay, so we are starting to approach the 20 minute mark. I'm gonna stop it right here. So, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, or if you uh, wanna hear more nerd alerts, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you wish, go ahead and turn on notifications. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Spaceman Josh out.